this discussion i, I would like to pick up some uh, you know uh, current related uh, current affairs topics and uh, today i will be picking up a uh, science and tech related topics so the first topic uh, the topic i would like to discuss today is on lithium sulfur batteries lithium sulfur battery so uh this is in fact a lot of we are hearing a lot about the lithium ion battery so now it's a improved version of the lithium ion battery is lithium sulfur battery in fact researchers from australia australia researchers claim that they have developed world's most efficient lithium sulfur battery so it is uh, lithium sulfur battery it is an improved version of lithium ion battery in fact uh, according to them a smartphone can be you know once it is charged it can the charge can be there for at least 5 days so that's huge because otherwise normally and uh, we are at least four times more than what we are having right now from the lithium ion batteries and second point is if you uh, you know extrapolate this to an electric vehicle and according to sources if this can be developed properly one charge can uh, you know travel a distance of more than 1000 kilometers 1000 kilometers in one charge we can travel it seems so that is the advantage we are talking about in this uh, you know lithium sulfur battery so uh, how is it different that means uh, it will be at least four times better than the lithium ion battery that is what we are having right now lithium is in the so it is a in a battery we have a cathode the positively charged uh, uh, you know uh, side and we have the anode so normally uh, in a lithium ion battery anode is lithium and uh, so this is where uh, the negative the negative charged particles are in, in, in negative side and the cathode is normally carbon so that is what normally it is there so now but this lithium ion battery has many uh, disadvantages i mean even though it is the most efficient right now even it has some disadvantages for example it is susceptible to overheating one big problem is overheating of lithium ion batteries second problem is they are prone to damage if there is a high voltage at high voltage and there is damage and the third problem is it start losing their capacity after some time so the third problem is lose its capacity over time so uh, it is having three different problems and but now we are talking about this uh, lithium sulfur battery and the as i told the anode will be same so instead of carbon in normal lithium ion battery it is carbon as the cathode now it is uh, you know a sulfur uh, and some carbon may be but uh, sulfur will be the main component when it comes to uh, the cathode so that is what the positively charged the area okay so this lithium sulfur battery uh, otherwise it is not much different so lithium is still there and but the advantage is the sulfur cathode since cathode is sulfur uh, it has it can accommodate higher stress without a drop in overall capacity so the advantage according to experts is it can uh, you know it can uh, accommodate accommodate higher stress without a drop in overall capacity without a drop in overall capacity that is the advantage we are talking about and another advantage is this lithium sulfur batteries are generally a consider to be the successor of lithium ion battery and they are low cost sulfur is abundantly available low cost energy efficiency will be there and improved safety so it has improved safety lower cost energy efficiency and sulfur is abundantly available in the nature there is no problem and in the electric vehicles in future uh, you know we are going to in fact even in india according to our minister by 2030 we will be having only electric cars it seems by 2030 because that is the need of the hour because of global warming and the greenhouse gas effect the emission the burning of the fossil fuels may not be permitted or rather we may not be able to do that because it can have serious implications over the uh, the temperature the overall temperature of the earth 
and it can create serious problems for us for our day-to-day -day life. So we may have to phase out our uh, fossil fuel. So at that time, lithium-ion batteries were now an improved version of lithium-ion battery. That is what we are talking. That is the lithium sulfur battery or in Australia this uh, the progress is happening the researchers from Australia talked about this and when it comes to lithium uh, India has a very poor uh, you know resource we don't have any resource at all and uh, in fact when you talk about lithium ion batteries a couple of points I would like to add here and uh, you know about lithium so this is also whether it is uh, sorry uh, lithium and uh, whether it is lithium ion battery, whether it is lithium sulfur battery, ultimately lithium is a major component. The anode is uh, from by lithium and the three, four metals or elements which are essential for this is one is cobalt. In the uh, battery manufacturing, cobalt is very important. Graphite because carbon is used. Graphite. And then lithium of course and uh, phosphate. So this is a, and I'm just talking an additional information. These are the vital elements for lithium ion battery or lithium sulfur battery. But if it is sulfur, instead of graphite, more sulfur will be used. And the, if you look at the resources of lithium, 95% of the resources are found in nine countries, especially 95% in nine countries, especially Australia, then China, then uh, Argentina, then uh, you know Chile, uh, you know so these are some of the major countries where lithium resources are found in fact in South America and three countries Argentina, Bolivia and Chile, Argentina, Bolivia also they are they are known as the lithium triangle so Argentina, Chile and Bolivia are known as lithium triangle and very interesting thing about this lithium is China has you know procured or rather China is a major producer of lithium they have mines across the world wherever lithium is there they have found uh, you know enough they have purchased the mines and China is a major player US is definitely the US is also doing the same thing now India has also realized the importance of it we are also searching for uh, lithium mines across the world especially in Bolivia uh, we are trying so we need so when even India in future if you have to fight in the uh, you know in this market especially for this battery market lithium the, the source uh, you know lithium is very important and India is trying to procure some of the mines from other countries also it may not be that easy and we have lost out we did not have much of black gold that is uh, uh, this petroleum products now uh, you know, lithium could be the next uh, you know next generation uh, you know uh, mineral required especially the energy source so India is trying for that but recently just one more point I would like to add recently IIT Madras or Indian Institute of Technology uh, in Chennai or IIT Madras they have uh, developed a new uh, battery which is known as iron ion battery iron ion instead of lithium ion Iron ion battery is a, and mild steel, mild steel will be used as the anode. Mild steel is the anode, and uh, you know, uh, it is a vanadium pentoxide as the cathode. Vanadium pentoxide as cathode. So, uh, in, the, in lithium, it is, uh, you know, graphite or carbon or lithium sulfur. If it is, then it is a cathode or in sulfur. Here, vanadium pentoxide is the cathode. And, uh, you know, electrolyte is iron perchlorate. As the electrolyte. So that is what the IIT Madras, uh, you know, people have developed, and iron uh, uh, Fe two plus, Fe two plus will be the ion which will be traveling, and uh, and they are saying that it is still in the iron uh, iron uh, you know ion battery. This iron ion battery is cost effective and can store high amount of energy. And with the world turning attention to electric vehicles, the focus is on developing batteries which are cheaper. We don't have lithium, that is why we are looking for iron-ion batteries. And according to experts, this has 
this iron ion batteries have around 55 to 60 percent efficiency compared to that of lithium ion battery so it is not almost half the efficiency only but still it may be quite cheap because we do not have to search for lithium iron is freely available so that is what we are looking so mild steel as the anode vanadium pentoxide as the cathode and iron perchlorate as the electrolyte so that is another development by iit madras so this is about lithium sulfur and iron ion batteries